Welcome to another racing event here on Forza Motorsport 7. I'm FH Jersey Brony, and today, Shadow Balls Racer number 20, Indigo Zap, is returning to Autodromo Nazionale Mansa for another race, but this time she'll be racing with the Formula One cars. And the racers are off. Now, like I said, uh, Indigo Zap has returned to Autodromo Nazionale Mansa because this is actually her second time around this track. So as they now enter the first chicane, then it goes out in the lead. Coming out of the first chicane, coming into turn two, or actually, I'm sorry, uh, turn three. This one's the high speed turn. Coming into the second chicane, which covers turn four and five. Now, uh, for all you racing fans out there, you guys will, will know Mansa with its high speed oval. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Forza Motorsport 7 does not actually support the, the um, high-speed oval. Just like in real life, they don't do that since the banks are deemed too uneven. But once they do get the... I hope they get the high-speed oval back again. But for now, it's just an abandoned historical site. But open to the public. Especially bike riders. Now, as Indigo Zap passes through turn 8, 9, and 10, coming into the... Last straightaway, entering turn 11. Ooh, he's getting off the track a bit a little bit. Ooh, a little bit of hard right there coming into turn 11. Uh, a little bit wide right there, but she's still at least on the track, though. Okay. Coming into the second lap. All right. So far, so good with Indy Goes After. He's doing really good around that track. Coming once again to turn 1 and 2. The interesting thing about this first chicane here, if you guys don't know, that this is actually facing where the oval is at. So you get a little bit of that glimpse of the high-speed banking. Coming into turn three. All right. He's now entering about to end turn four and five, which is the second chicane. Ooh, oh, almost got that out of the track right there. Now, during this 2019 season, it's not the first time that uh, we had a race around here. Ooh, that was really good by Indigo Zap. Um, as I said, there's, this is not the first time that we have a, a racing event going around here on Monza. We had uh, Aurelia Charm of Equestrian Motorsport racing around here, and she did really well around this track. So, here is Indigo Zap in, in an F1 car for the very first time on the season. And which is following her horrific loss at Indianapolis Motor Speedway with that crash that happened uh, right at turn four at the Brickyard Speedway. As he's now entering the turn 11. Oh my goodness, uh, she got off the track right there, but god damn, that was like just extreme right there. As he's now entering into the pit lane, uh, which she's gonna go for a little pit stop. Getting a little bit of that halftime break right there. And she completes her first half of the race. So she's about to enter her third lap. But uh, the camera is going to stop right here any moment as the other races are passing into goes out right now. These are all McLarens and uh, or technically Hondas. McLaren with Honda engines in it, and then there's some Ferraris passing by. So it's pretty much of a Honda McLaren versus Ferrari. And then Indigo Zappa is now returning back on the track. All right, her, the second half of the race has started. She's now in her third lap, coming into the first chicane. Great driving by Indigo Zap, keeping nice and steady right there. Being patient with the other, uh, trying to pass the other drivers. And she's now entering the turn three. Passes the other Honda McLaren. Great job. Coming into turn four and five. Ooh, hitting the brakes are hard. Giving some of those other F1 cars a little bit of taunting. That Indigo Zach can do this. Okay. Coming into turn six and seven. That is turn seven. Ooh, about to pass that on one F1 car. And then she passes the other F1 car. That Ferrari 641 specifically. It passes another Honda McLaren. And if you guys are wondering what car she's driving, she's also driving a Honda McLaren as well. So it's pretty much Team McLaren versus Team Ferrari kind of thing. 
Oh, uh, she's now passing the other Honda McLaren. Okay. Carrying her team. Great job driving around there by Indigozat. Coming into turn 11. Ooh, look at that. That is just crazy right there. Indigozat still driving aggressive right there. She's now entering her final lap. The white flag has now been raised. Who will be taking this lead? Will be Indigozat or any of these other racers here? Coming into the first chicane. Great job by Indigozat. Coming out of that chicane. Coming into the turn three, high speed turn. Great job. He's still a little bit behind there. She's still in a lot of the top five. Ooh. Okay, okay. A little bit of contact there. Coming into turn four and five. About to enter turn six. She goes through turn six. Ooh, like smoothly. All right. Now she's already in top three. Coming into turn seven, coming out of turn seven, coming into the back stretch. She's still right behind the first McLaren. She's still right behind first place. Second place specifically. Coming into turns eight, nine, and ten. This is the final chicane. Still out of turn ten, still in second place. About to pass up the Honda McLaren. And um, oh, he's getting a little bit swirly there. And she's going to pass her, and and she passes first place. Now she's already taken over the lead, coming into turn 11. Oh my goodness, that is really fast right there. And it goes up, almost got out of the track there. Coming into the final turn, into the final stretch here, and about to cross the line, and we got a winner here. This is an ultimate redemption from Indigo's out from a horrific loss at Indianapolis Motor Speedway with her Indy car. Congratulations, Indigo's out. You actually done this well. 15 and 3. But you still got a lot more to compete there in the playoffs if you want to go see Equestrian Motorsports again.